Hey guys, this is Nefarious411, and welcome to episode 104 of Regrowth. We are picking up right where we left off. I have my Japanese village over here, and they are doing just fine. They're still working on building out... Oh, I guess he just finished this uh, brand new building. So it's currently empty, so no population, even though my Chiba is running this way um, but I'm just going to uh, let this run I think I purchased uh, some of the other houses let's see I'm not sure if I can do it from the scroll or not let me just flip through that now maybe if I talk to the chief villager oh they're sleeping never mind um, but I think I've uh, purchased all the houses I do have to uh, keep an eye on any kind of resources that they need. Um, if they need to uh, start um, building anything and they need like cobblestone or anything, I should be able to uh, provide that to them. But I am going to go ahead and create one more village. I'm not going to do them all on camera because they seem to be fairly the same. I mean, obviously they're different cultures, but the mechanics are all the same in between all of these uh, different villages. So let me go ahead and grab a block of gold and let's see if I can find my wand. I am probably going to put that in my magenta bag. Oh yeah, I also need a piece of dirt because it needs a piece of dirt underneath the, uh, the gold block. And I'm just going to fly out uh, maybe on this side of the island and uh, see if I can go ahead and create another village. And probably don't want it too close to my place, but I might put it over here. Yeah, I know that it'll interfere with that, but I think there's, I think this is all empty now. Yeah, I already took the uh, dispenser that was in here. So this is probably good. Yeah, I mean, it's within eye shot of my actual base. I might go with a uh, Byzantine this time. Well, I might just do it in order so that I don't forget. Um, Mahal Hindi, Gonv Hindi, and Quilla? Sure. Cannot find space for town hall. Okay. Is that in the way? <laughs> um, could not find space for town hall. Um, what if I tried one of these others? Ooh! Well, it was able to find a space for the town hall. Like within me <laughs> and it ate my gold block okay well that kind of stinks oh well but uh it does look like it surrounded this area hopefully it doesn't start eating into my space over there but uh let's go ahead and take a look this is definitely different types of bricks this is mud brick that actually looks kind of cool I have to use that, see if they can uh, teach me how to make it or I can buy it from them. So, um, how about you? Okay, cool. So here's all of the other uh, things. Looks like they have brick mold. What other kinds of things can you sell me? Can you sell me those? Yes, mud bricks, cool. So, um, like I said, these are all essentially the same. So I'm probably going to do most of this off camera. I might create the initial village, but all of the trading and stuff, that mechanic seems to be fairly straightforward. So I'm going to do that off camera. I guess this is... Oh, that's cool. They're actually making the bricks over here. That is very cool. Is there anything in there? Nope. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, probably start looking in the book, the quest book, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the other chapters. I know that we still need chapter 10, so let's go ahead and look at that guy. 
And it looks like we're going to have to start doing a little bit more on the witchery side. So let's figure out where we left off. Um, we can probably do the other uh, poppets. Might as well. So uh, let me head back to my base, uh, clean up a couple of things, and uh, prepare, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back, and I did take a look at the uh, the book. Um, we have the uh, the poppet here, and it does look pretty easy. It looks like a little bit of wool, string, some Spanish moss, um, but then you can have all of these different types of poppets. Um, this one, oops. This one just looks like a normal poppet, so let's go ahead and grab some uh, wool, some string, um, some Spanish moss. Doesn't look like I have any. How about some shears? Nope. Um, do I have shears in here? Doo -doo. There we go. I know that I have some Spanish moss. Oh yeah. Probably should uh, dig these bottom up, because otherwise you lose some blocks. There we go. Oops, my cell phone is on. Let me turn that off real fast. There we go. All right, cool. So I got some Spanish moss, and uh, what else in the poppet recipe? This was a bone needle, and that is basically just a bone and a piece of flint. But I might have bone needles over here. I am not sure. But uh, let me go ahead and try putting that there. Nope. Doesn't look like I have bone needles. Oh, it's icy needles that I have. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab some bone and some flint. There we go. Let's see if these stack. Oh, I guess I create eight. That's cool. There we go. Pop it. And this should complete this guy. And basically, puppets, um, you can bind them to yourself. I'm probably going to need more than one. But uh, best part of being a witch, messing with people's heads. Obviously, this isn't going to work for us uh, because of the fact that there's nobody else on my server. Um, but we should be able to at least protect ourselves from different types of harm. Um, so we need a tag lock kit tag lock kit and that is just a uh, bone needle and a glass bottle let's see do I have any glass bottles in here I do this is fairly straightforward tag lock kit not bound all right so use of the uh, tag lock on a being when they aren't looking or in the bed and you will have a tag lock bound to them to use as you please, whether your intentions are nefarious. Ha, ah, that's me. Or nice is your business. All right. So, oh, I needed three tag lock kits. Okay. Two, three. And there we go. Cool. Crafting task. So we need a water protection poppet. All right. So a water protection poppet is going to be a poppet plus ink sacks and water artichoke so let me go ahead and create a bunch of poppets and let's go ahead and grab water artichoke um what was the other ink sacks ink 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 do i have any ink sacks in here doesn't look like it I can go ahead and grab some and this will basically protect us turn that sideways protect us from any kind of water damage which would be kind of cool um, so we won't have to uh, drown and this gives us a fire protection poppet so that is kind of cool so one of the simplest poppets um, to make water protection poppet will protect the tag locked being from drowning bear in mind that you'll need to keep the puppet on your person for it to have its effect okay so that's good to know um i don't know does the uh, puppet disappear if you start drowning doesn't look like it's disappearing but we are able to be under here and not die as quickly so that is actually good okay that works for me. 
even though I'm probably not going to carry this and use up an inventory slot. Um, fire, oh wait, that's not even bound to me. Um, <laughs> so that probably didn't work. It was just because of my health. Um, there we go. If I right click on my bed, because this is the bed that I have been sleeping in, um, this is actually bound to Nefarious 411. All right, so how do I bind these? First of all, I need to get rid of some of the extra puppets that I have. That didn't work out very well. Let me go ahead and grab this guy. And I think if I do this, yes, it's bound to Nefarious 411. All right. But does this disappear as soon as I start drowning? Does it get used? I don't know, this doesn't seem to be much different. Um, if I were just to throw it there. What? I'm confused because holding the puppet, I was drowning, but now I'm not? Um, I'm confused. Didn't it say that I had to have it on my person <laughs> in order for it to work? Bear in mind you will need to keep the puppet on your person for it to have an effect. Okay, I don't believe you. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a puppet shelf because we don't want to carry all these around. We actually want to go ahead and hold it on a puppet shelf. And it looks like some attuned stones. Holy crap. I forgot how much crafting's involved <laughs> with all of this. All right, so for those guys, there we go. Oh, do I have any attuned stones? Oh, <laughs> I don't like witchery. I'm sorry, uh, but man, I I'm not a big fan of witchery. It has a lot of crafting um, reminds me a little bit of uh, industrial craft but with magic <laughs> all right so a tuned stone here we come um, all right so this is a whiff of magic some lava bucket and dragon stone do we have any dragon stone are you kidding me do we have any over in the Batania area Yes, we do. So I needed four of those, I think. So let's go ahead and grab the four. And let's go ahead and grab some lava buckets. Um, one, two, three, four. Cool. And let's just go ahead and craft this up. I forgot my whiff of magic. Get on the ground. Uh, whiff of magic. Right there, I got plenty of those. So let's go ahead and grab all of that back. That goes there. Uh, whiff of magic, wherever you went. I'm blind. There we go, a tombstone, cool. There we go. All right, so we got four of the attune stones. So now pop it, shelf. Going to be like this with green wool. Does it have to be green? Well, at least I have some cacti right there. And what happened to all of my. Did I put that back in the network? All of my wool? Um, or maybe I used all my wool? Wool. Okay may have used it all okay that's cool um, let's go ahead and surround this and that gets green wool and now we should be able to create our puppet shelf just like so and these attuned stones like that rotate there we go cool puppet shelf yay all right so now we should be able just to uh, place this on the ground. and I think we should be able to at least put our puppets on the shelf just like so. 
So let's go ahead and bind this one to us too because this is a fire protection poppet just as the water protection should be able to protect us from fires, things like that. So that is cool. Obviously you probably wouldn't want to uh, leave your poppet shelf out on a, a multiplayer server because if somebody were to uh, come and grab your poppets they could do really bad things with you um, like a voodoo doll sort of stuff um, but there are actually some pretty good poppets that you might want to uh, take a look at um, well here's a voodoo poppet that's not going to help us in this particular case um, but there's like one for death right so if you were to die death protection poppet there it is what is involved with that? So if you were to die, um, you would come back to life, or basically it would use up the poppet and uh, you would uh, stay alive, but that one doesn't look too bad. Just requires a bunch of flowers to create that one. A toe of frog. That is not craftable, so... I'm not sure how to create a toad of frog. Am I supposed to use some shears and uh, find a frog somewhere? Oh, this rain is obnoxious. There we go. Cool. All right. So uh, let me claim the reward. Oh, that gives us a death protection puppet. Okay. Now let's go ahead and bind it to ourselves because why not? Oops. If we were to ever die um, or get all the way down in our health, that'll be able to protect us. Cool. And it could just sit right here, right on our puppet shelf. And that should do it for the poppets. Cool. So I am going to go left, I think. Um, I know that there's quite a bit on the right side. But I think uh, the left is fairly quick. So let's go ahead and do the uh, Polynesia charm. And this will allow us to talk to animals and trade with the animals. I don't know why we would want to do that, but it's a thing. Grab some iron. Um, do I have the whiff of magic on me still? I do. Um, Polynesia. Let's go ahead and put that recipe in there so that I can uh, actually do this without having everything. And I am completely lost of what I was doing. All right, so that's a whiff of magic. That can go right there. What are those things? Odor of purity. Odor of purity. Grab a couple of those. Cool. Um, nether wart. I don't have any on me. Nether wart. One, two, three, four. I don't think this gets used up either. So we should be good on that. Um, I'm not sure what kind of fish that was in the middle. I don't know if it requires a specific type. Raw cod. Cod. Nope. Let's go over to our fishery and see if we have any raw cod anywhere. Um, I don't think these will work. I can. Eh, I'm not going to grab one. I'm going to just see if we have one that just says raw cod. There we go. Just like that. Now we don't have to uh, deal with it. Let's just run back over here. Probably should sleep through the night to get rid of that rain because it is obnoxious. But here we go. We have the ability to talk to animals. And I might come down here and talk to a cow. Because why not? <laughs> so this cow has four wheat for a bone as the trade. Seven wheat for a spruce sapling. Oh, it does look like it has durability. So that's something to uh, keep in mind. But all of these trades suck. I don't really need these trades. <laughs> Five bones, or two bones. Wow, these are just terrible. Sorry, cows, but I do not want to trade with you. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And the poppet. Let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. Clean up our inventory a little bit. But that should have completed that one. And that gives us a fume filter, which... I've already created them all, so I don't really need. Cool. Because I think that was meant for like funnel fumes, which I already have. But part of this is not 
active? I am not sure why. I can't... Oh, wait. That's already completed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, witch hunters, uh, beware when delving into witchcraft. There are those who are opposed to the art. Um, witches that you've met have warned you, but there are uh, these so-called witch hunters also survived the cataclysm and will periodically hunt anyone who dabbles in the darker realms of witchcraft. Hunters tend to go after those who dabble in curses, vampiric puppets, and voodoo puppets. But it is also rumored that villagers have a tendency to employ them to deal with problematic vampires and werewolves. So I need to kill one so I can't exactly do that and there's apparently a null catalyst <laughs> kind of interesting um, I guess I mean it says voodoo puppets and vampiric puppets so let's go ahead and create one of those I guess a vampiric puppet I don't think voodoo puppets gonna affect us much but I could create a vampiric puppet that looks like a person's head is underneath them with fangs wool of bat yeah that seems pretty easy so let's go ahead and create a poppet with the exhale of the horned one and what was the other diamond vapor diamond vapor there we go and I need a couple of wool of bat, and it looks like I just have the two. Pop it there. Exhale of the horned one. And we have a vampiric puppet. I don't exactly know if I'm supposed to bind this to myself or somebody else, but I will go ahead and put it on the shelf, and maybe, just maybe, some witch hunters are going to come after me now. Um, maybe. Maybe I'll just use one of my kids and grab one of their beds. <laughs> I don't know if they've slept because of the fact that they're in creative mode, so they might not have beds. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and pause it for a second, and I will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and came into my kids' um, area, and I did find a bed. But it doesn't look like anybody slept there. <laughs> like I thought. Alright. Um, yeah, this is a mess. Let's see. They haven't been on the server in like months. So I don't know if they have any... Oh, there's some beds. Nope. Nope. Ah. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. All the beds and nobody slept in them. Well, shoot. I was hoping to at least get... Can I get it from dogs? Oh, I can. There we go. Haha. -ha. I'll show more of their um, creations later. But uh, let's go ahead and come back here. <laughs> let's go ahead and... Uh, where's my witchery area? I completely flew past that. Alright, so... Just note that if you're on a survival multiplayer server uh, with witchery, people can uh, grab your bed and create a tag lock kit um, and do like voodoo stuff on you. So if I were to do this, maybe I don't know how that works. Or maybe I can't do that on wolves. Well, shoot. I am not entirely sure. Is there any kind of a book on the puppets? Oops. Doesn't look like it. Those are the same book. Well, that's unfortunate. What other puppets do we have? Do, do, do. We have voodoo, voodoo, voodoo protection. Ah! So that's a voodoo protection. So if somebody were to get your tag lock and created a voodoo puppet, basically you would be able to like throw the other uh, puppet into water or lava or something like that. And the other person will start taking damage, but you can create a voodoo protection puppet so that it'll protect you from any voodoo puppets. So that is kind of cool. Um, armor protection. 
don't know what that means. Puppet shelf compass. I don't know what a puppet shelf compass is. Wow, that uses another star. But once you have one, you can du just double it with some magma cream and blaze powder. But I think that's actually the quest reward. Yeah, for the hunted. I haven't seen any uh, witches or witch hunters, so there's really nothing that we can do with that. So it does look like I'm going to have to uh, go ahead and start on some of these others. All of these are complete, but I should be able to at least uh, look at the critter snare. And this should be non-craftable. Huh. Of course. Alright, so another mutation which can be performed with the mutating sprig critter snares. These clingy plants will ensnare small creatures that touch them, such as bats, silverfish, small slimes. It seems to hold them well enough that you can uh, move the snares around with the creatures still trapped in it. To mutate critter snares, place a spider's web above a block of water, surround it with alder saplings, and then ensnare a zombie in the web. Once that is done, right click the web to mutate the alder sapling into critter snares. Okay, so place a spider's web above a block of water. This is really weird. I am probably going to do this right here. Let's go ahead and grab some water. There we go, and a spider web. Um, web, 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 string, is there another way to do this? Um, spinning wheel, eight string, yeah, let's do the other uh, spinning wheel since that looks like zero cost except for some altar power. There we go, cool. I thought there was a way to do that with the, uh, with the essence. It doesn't look like it. it. Just looks like string and some other stuff. Alright, there we go. So let's go ahead and put. I don't know what level these have to be on. So let's go ahead and place it right there. That. We need alder saplings. Alder, saplings, hawthorn, alder, one, two, three, four, and we need the mutating sprig. All right, I am not going to place these yet because I do not want the alder saplings to actually grow. To mutate, place spider's web above a block of water, surround it with alder saplings, and then ensnare a zombie in the web once this is done, right click the web to mutate the alder saplings into critter snares. Alright, so it does look like I'm going to have to wait for nighttime. So let's take a look. It is almost nighttime, as we can see by the clock. So uh, let me go ahead and pause it for here and uh, wait for some zombies to approach, and we will be right back. All right, it's nighttime, and it looks like we have a couple of tributes, some volunteers, and they are making their way over here. Want to make sure that there's, ooh, lag spike. Um, make sure that there's no other zombies or anything around me. I am going to kill one of you. Er, yeah, I'm going to kill one of you. And you are going to get stuck in the web. I am going to place the alder saplings around and mutating sprig. <laughs> that was an awesome sound effect. Oh, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> that was very, very cool. And it does look like I can uh, pick these up and uh, I can actually ensnare different animals with them. So that is pretty cool. So that. Got me four more critter snares. Nice. All right, so we have eight, and I'm certain that these will um, come in handy with some of these uh, future things, such as this one. I need a grasper, 
You take some grass bears, place a chest above a block of water with long grass to each side. Simply use the mutating sprig on the chest to mutate the grasses, consuming the chest. Oh, let's go ahead and do this one before we end it off for today. This one seems pretty simple. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. And I am going to get some bone meal because I have my shears on me, don't I? Yes, I have my shears on me. I'm going to uh, get some long grass going. Looks like it is. And am I supposed to use it on the chest? I am. Cool. So now we have graspers. Do not know what the graspers are used for right now, but uh, let's see. Be able to create a small but useful plant known as a grasper. Will hold any items placed in it. Oh, okay. So rather than mobs and animals and stuff this will actually hold on to items so that is pretty cool but it does look like oh this is where we get the uh, toe of the frog that's what we were looking for before cool but I am going to have to end it off for today we were able to uh, make some progress with the uh, the witchery stuff got the uh, the puppet shelf with a, a few puppets on it gonna have to wait for a witch hunter Probably because I haven't dabbled enough in the uh, the puppetry puppetry is that a word um, stuff. But uh, in between episodes, I will uh, go ahead and trade with that Hindi village that I uh, created at the beginning of the episode and see if I can get the uh, the scroll for those guys and uh, might create the other villages or maybe I'll wait until on camera. Not sure, but uh, I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you could, rate and comment down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you like the series, please hit that subscribe button. But for now, this is goodbye.